Yo, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome to my channel of an everyday encounter in an ordinary life of an SB. I'm gonna hopefully want to share with you all, as well as people around the world of the YouTubers, that has been. I want to talk about something real here that has been close to my heart, and obviously, I want to hopefully address it all to not just for the males, but for the females on this topic that's gonna be brought to you right now. I'm not sure though, however, if you're going to agree to what I'm going to say, but like I said in most of my videos, it's up to you to take it or not, you know, take it on board and just maybe give me your ideas and uptakes about it, even though yes, everybody is a val has their own value of opinion on any topic that I may share, but these, some of these are just based on my experiences and what I've have actually seen in my day of living sort of thing, and I feel that, you know, nine times out of ten that, you know, you know, many people have been giving me the cold cold shoulder or just the flick sometimes just because I say something but it's fine because it's just life obviously on how I bring about my world and journey with you all but regardless of the topic you know I just hope that some of these topics won't offend but then again you know everybody may go huffy at me and just point the finger at me thinking that you know this is not right Karen this is not how it is or whatever the case may be in their mindset sort of thing even though I noticed that some people in my social circle they don't fully come to grips in understanding of it all. They may show that you, they understand what's going on in the world around us, but the world is changing and they need to experience the world for themselves, even though I'm trying to learn to them. Sometimes, however, they, if they were getting all worked up, hussy at me or whatever, and there may be some truth in it behind it that I'm bringing, even though some of it, like I said, was I was hoping to bring encouragement and enlightenment and also just like views and values of my uptake of certain topics sort of thing. You know, I'm going to share with you all today the differences between a man and a woman, or what shall we say, a man and a boy, and a woman, a girl and a woman, okay? Before you go hot, nasty, or crude, or rude, or at me though, however, you just remember I'm just hoping to share this for the girls too. Also, guys, so if any male that has been coming on my channel thinking that I'm just pointing the finger at you, I'm not going to be pointing the finger at you as well some of it maybe feel like it's going to be a lecture some of it may not it's going to have hopefully just address to you all how i see it and even if it may look like i'm pointing the finger please forgive me even though like i said i'm just wanting to hopefully create a better understanding for you all how i see my in my world okay i'm not hurting the guys pretty much only i want to just basically create a stir and hopefully maybe a heads up of what people may think of it all and many people may think I'm nitpicking based on what, what I'm going to share about this, you know, boy, what the difference between a boy and a real man sort of thing. These are my uptakes. But then again, you know, that's my not my problem, it's yours. Like I said, everyone's entitled for their own opinion. So, here goes for the boy versus man, the key differences. <clears throat> Number one. Number uno. A man will own up for his mistakes and takes full responsibility and accountability for his own actions, whereas a boy will just run away, hide, deny the facts, pretty much, of the faults and mistakes that he has made in that, that day and age. He'll just sweep it maybe under the carpet and actually maybe sweep it past by him. And actually, whoever's maybe in his social circle, be it a girlfriend, be it a mother, be it a father, they'll blame it on that particular person that for their own mistakes and stuff, regardless of what may have happened. And they not tend to think up there in their little noggin, thinking maybe that they were the problem in the first place. <clears throat> so that maybe also makes some really lame, bad excuses of how it goes about this day and age. Okay, number two. Numeral two. A man will lift you up when you're feeling down and blue, while a boy will just try to make himself better by keeping you down, regardless of sometimes it's, you know, how I see it in this day and age. I've seen it time and time again that many males, especially since in my dating scene of my life at the moment, many guys I've dated, past and present, have been putting me down and they don't realise it and they talk me down just because that after I felt that it was the right right time to share with them that I had AS and hopefully how I work around my AS that will work for them as well sort of thing but obviously sometimes I feel that in some relationship going it's just me or the highway so to speak or 
I have to listen to them, you know, and do it by their books and rules and restrictions and stuff, you know, that's not good. It's all about, you know, giving and taking, as I have in my time and age. Number three, a man will please one woman and stick with her, and that woman is you. And a boy, however, will please all females of all walks of life. They'll do the cat calls and they'll have their eyes looking at the other girls instead of paying full attention to you, pretty much. And also, for a boy, they'll have a different woman that they want to run off to and stick in their bed. But hello, this is not real. As I noticed that many males, and maybe females also, as I'm going to say, a fear of committing to one another, as I agree with my father, as well as some of the other people that I've been watching on the YouTube channels, that basically some of them have just fear of commitment or just a fear of basically... Some of the guys wants to just go for the highs instead of the lows, you know, not wanting a proper relationship. A proper relationship, if you're committed, pretty much, is just the one person involved. I know for fact, I'm trying to learn this, despite the fact that at the moment, that regardless of what I'm feeling right now, hopefully that sometime soon this person will wake up and see how I see it, pretty much, and I understand more thoroughly, even though, you know, everyone is different based on the experiences and cultural values and beliefs and whatnot sort of thing. I feel that in this day and age though, yes, I agree that in our generation right now, we're all running around trying to please others, we're trying to jump into each other's pants, trying to score how many girls we can't have or how many guys, rate them how good they're in bed. And then sometimes to the point that, you know, we just devalue everything, devalue the men and women. More than light that up to later though, however, on how I feel about it. Number four. A man will express his true feelings and show his emotions to you in the right way while a boy will just try and hide them, you know, of these feelings and tries to act cool and tough, you know, durable. No matter what, you know, I can do anything, I can conquer anything, what you say won't affect me sort of thing. In the reality, let's get real here. You know, real men will show their true feelings and emotions. It's okay for men to show their tears. However, many men think that it's a sign of their weakness. No, it's not. It shows to me as a female, I'm using some females may agree to this, that you do really care about something or a particular someone. Regardless, you know, you're putting your effort into the relationship and that we're giving it in, you know, trying to listen to you and whatever else it may be. But I believe in my whole heart that no matter what we go through in our life, we should be honest and real and actually open up. Even though, yes, okay, me may not be all about feelings and emotions, but in this day and age, how I'm seeing it, you know, how society and the media and the messages behind of certain things is showing how females should be also being a male as well, you know, changing in the roles that we should not just be a female but a male, if that makes sense. Like, we need to be cool, tough, calm and stuff as well as the guys, you know. But at this day and age, we're not wild that way. Obviously, we're created differently for a reason. Number five. A man will know a woman's worth and will respect her and value her, honour her, while a boy doesn't know a good woman when he's when she's right there, right before her eyes. I have seen this time and time again that some guys devalue females, even though sometimes it's our fault, so I'll, I'll vouch for this up, our fault for actually letting a male into our lives, trying to dictate or tell us how we should be or what sh we should be like or how we should dress and whatever the case may be. A guy should actually really, really be man enough to actually just accept for who and what she is. Like I said so many times before, I am the kind of girl that will actually, you know, accept you for who and what you are, wolves and all, despite that, yeah, okay, sometimes I might not agree with certain things that you're dealing with in that, even though, yes, okay, everybody goes through a cycle of change, you know, regardless what age and that, even though, like, what they say, maturity for guys is real low than the girls, but hey. <clears throat> okay, um, also on that number four that I forgot to add in here, what I wrote, while the boy, okay, will just hide his feelings and tries to act cool and tough, but in reality, we know who will act like a fool, you know, and act like a fool. Thinking that, you know, hiding away things. Like, people are really good at hiding their feelings. Sometimes the point. Anyway, number six. 
Boys play games of any kind, be it mind games, physical games and stuff, or playing with the girls' hearts and stuff, which is pretty much sad to the point it's true. I've seen that many times before. Many guys like to play around and actually think that's why some girls feel so devalued. And obviously they just feel at this point of time, you know, what have they done wrong and stuff. And even though I'm sick and tired of hearing this, what, 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 what they won't know won't hurt them. But <clears throat> get this right, guys, who are so immature thinking that way. Remove that out of your head. Of course it will hurt us. Because obviously us females are sensitive souls and beings. We have feelings and emotions and you may hate it when we go all emotional at you or real angry at you to the point that you think we've got an attitude, you can't handle us to the point that you just think, you know, you want to just control us to, to put us on a chain of some sort and, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, but it, in reality it shouldn't be like this pretty much. And then, um, yeah, but obviously a real man, however, won't have time for games playing, be it mine, heart and stuff. They'll be loyal, honest and all these other values that I look for in a man sort of thing that I've been brought up with. Even though, like many people say, you know, gone are those days, Karen, which is true, but I believe that there still be still there. But for the guys that play mine, for the males that don't play mind games and heart games or whatever, they know what they want. They'll go for it. And obviously at that time also, they'll be only committed to her and only her. Number seven is a real man has goals, dreams and visions that are not that are really set and concrete. Be it if they're sometimes not sure at that time though of those goals, how they're going to achieve them, they'll have us by the, our side, any, their side anyway, to support their dreams and goals like they would in their role, supporting our dreams and goals in a relationship to keep a 50-50 split balance. Whereas a boy, okay, can't see past tomorrow. They'll they're probably the kind of guys that I call dreamers. That they just take it one day at a time and that. But then again, hopefully maybe one day they'll have their goal sets set concrete, you know. Even though that, like someone said to me, not all guys are like that, however. But, you know, how I said, if a guy, a real man, as I said, has goals, dreams and visions and passions and stuff and they stick by it, you know, and then they're just set in concrete, that's the real man probably you want to be with, you know. You don't want to be with somebody that just drifts from one to a next, you know, of a girl to girl and mind play and all these other listings I'm doing right now. A man, number eight, does what needs to be done and a boy does what he wants to do. I believe that's true because obviously to the point now I've realised that many guys just want to do what they want to be. Boys, especially, you know, be up, they want to be just be out partying, boozing up with their mates, forgetting about their little like the ones at home of their girlfriends if they've got one or just another one is that they'll just you know do their own thing in a way of maybe impressing other guys that oh I don't need her. you know I like that they don't have a girlfriend but they do and then and then when that girlfriend sparks into the you know social circle that they'll feel probably embarrassed shamed and everything else and whatnot you know but I don't know many boys tend to do this but I don't know what their real reasons for that will be Anyway, number nine. <clears throat> a real man is confident, pretty much. Not t too confident, but confident enough in himself and believing in himself that he can do all things. Well, a boy is too cocky and rude and thinks he's too smart for his own good. Number ten. A man doesn't live with his parents for an extended time. Whereas a boy will. I believe that, you know, okay, many people say to me, especially some people in my social circle, that guys feel that they need to live at home with their mummies and daddies for a point to save and whatever. That's all right to a point. But I know for a fact, in reality, okay, this is just me, so please don't point the finger at me, that many guys I've dated past and present, or shall we say some of them were immature boys, they think they can just carry on living at home and stuff and expect us females to be the carer, the provider and whatever else. It's fine, but it's good if they can bring home the bacon and actually support us as well. Well, like, we each have a role in 
in each other's lives obviously as you know girlfriend boyfriend or just a male and female but it doesn't always work that way as i said genders and genders changes in the society which i'm going to bring my view on it later about the gender differences which i'm kind of doing right now but it's going to be a spin on it hopefully somehow number 11 a man a real man has his finances all up, whereas a boy may just want to spend out large with his big gaming toys, or be it the big toys of their cars, their, I don't know, motorcycles, or whatever the case may be, you know, and they may not want to just share the money on the table if they were in a relationship and just suspect us females to be the one that's, you know, shops out large for for ourselves regardless even though i'm trying to learn now just to try and keep my money in my pocket sometimes but it doesn't always work because obviously as i know i feel to give when i can at the time of money and that even though my my giving is not just all about money though it's about loving somebody giving my time giving up my time regardless what it may be and yeah number 12 a real man will not swear at the woman in front of him okay all the time you know, he can talk to you in a decent manner and talk to you about anything to you regardless. I believe this is true. Real men, if they really are wanting to be real men, they'll rely on you sort of thing for help, support, regardless what it may be. I believe also that no matter what though, however, um, that they will be open-minded to any suggestions that we may give. You know, us females' roles is obviously a neutral cure whatever the case may be at that time. And that I feel that with a real man that can talk about anything, this will show that he's obviously honest and reliable and obviously trustworthy to actually think. Because like I said, again, it's all about give and take. If he does this for a real man, you mean you know he's worth having around. Anyway, number 13. With something you're going through, Whatever it is, big or small, be it if you've lost a job, be it if you've got a sick family in, in the mix, or be it that you've just got made redundant, or whatever the case may be for ex these examples and more, that he'll stay by you no matter what and will defend you and protect you from everything. So that, that's the main important thing. A guy is a protector in their role. Obviously, for a real guy, if he's a real protector, he'll stand by you. He'll, he'll also probably stand against his parents and other family members that may talk about you that that you're not aware of about you or against you and that he'll stand by you. I have learned in my time, even though I feel like my role's always reversing from a male to a female gender role of in a relationship that, you know, I've been trying to stick it out myself about what's real and what's not at the moment, you know, do I want to fight it, do I want to not, you know, even though some of the things I see I don't agree with. You know, monkey's business of their own. But then again, you know, how I look at it right now, it's about hopefully that for a real man to protect you, regardless what it is, you know, he can be a physical kind of protector versus a, you know, mental, physical, verbal, whatever the case may be, sort of thing. Anyway, number 14. A man surprises you and will help you when you need it and won't expect it as soon as you, you ask for it. Sometimes it will be nice now and again for us females getting surpri surprises, you know, be it a bunch of roses once we come home just to show that you still love us and appreciate us. Sometimes maybe just anything really just to show your appreciation for us, that, to us that you, you do appreciate what we do. Just sometimes gifts can be good in a way because for me... If I was given a gift, I know that I'm appreciated, valued, wanted, and still want to be around or whatever. Because at the end of the day, even though sometimes I've noticed in the past and present relationships of being well, sometimes, you know, sometimes they give off the vibes that they want me there and then all of a sudden they don't. That's like a hot, cold situation like that Katy Perry, you know. You're in, you're out, so if you're ass, you're no kind of thing. Anyway. Okay, number 15. Pretty much. <clears throat> a man doesn't like seeing you sad or feeling sad, so he'll do his best to ensure it won't happen, and if it did, he will feel the same way, and it will break him up completely. That goes with, basically, if he shows his real true feelings and emotions, a real man, you know? So, yeah. Number 16, last but not least. Men will prefer to give out than rather to receive. 
Meanwhile, men basically, boys will just keep on, you know, expecting to receive, 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 receive. It's like I said, one sided of relationship, which is not good. Anyway, last but not least to conclude on this before I end this to you about my sharing on the differences of a boy and a man. It's a shame really that men and women are uh, on different pages today as I see because obviously the way things are changing in society of the gender roles and whatever of the personality, how we should act, think and do. And obviously while this is happening for men and women in different pages however, there are always bound to be misunderstandings, different understandings to what life is really is like you know as I said before in the beginning that many people suspect that you know they know everything before they hit into the real world of what it's going to give us yet in reality we all want something the same thing I should say yet we fear to ask that particular someone if it was a particular loved one that we so much care and love for and we fear that it's going to be a no and that we get rejected and we don't get the answer we expect to get the answer for and then sometimes you know, as I said with one of my videos, that sometimes, to me, I'm a black and white person and as well as thinking of everything around me, basically, to get to the point of actually, even though it may make my head hurt and make me physically ill, that, you know, to the point where now, did I really want to say it in the first place? Why? Why is it happening? You know, all these questions that comes up to me. Sometimes, however, we all fear that when we want the same thing, the fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, fear of maybe hatred, fear of whatever it may be, sort of thing that comes creeping up. It's important to know who and what we are, however, and to know what we really need, desire and crave for in our own lives. It's okay to try and change ourselves for the better. It's okay sometimes that even though we're in the seasons of change, that sometimes we need to grow up and see things even though some people grow up slower than others you know mature wise if a guy that you're really with really wants you and know your standards and bound boundaries he'll definitely change for himself and mature as well as taking that step up at the next game and level and have his ish together to make that shift from boy to a man real man well that is basically the differences between a boy and a young man or a real man please like comment subscribe to my channel for more weekly updates for what i'm hoping to do even though i've been putting my book on the back burner right now of what i'm doing right now even though right i'm just going to give you an update if you haven't been following my facebook at the moment i've put up a notification up there but where i'm at at the moment i've created a page on fiverr not Fiverr, Kickstarter I should say, as well as Pledge Me, but I'm waiting on confirmation from Kickstarter and that to start my um, project properly to get the funds that I need sort of thing. So if you want, hopefully I might put the link down below for you know you to view and maybe send some feedback would be much appreciated on that front. Also, um, a heads up, also I'm hoping maybe to see if I can jazz up my channel in the next problem. Six months to a year, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for these topics. Even though it's all about my video blogging at the moment, about my everyday life with AS, AS and countership, even though I was hoping to stick to the main thing of, you know, health, health science and mental health awareness and all these other things that comes with it because my strong focus obviously is health, but I would like to help people in any way. Maybe I could do a ask, ask advocate advocate aunt maybe i don't know column on my facebook or even if i do find my blogging site again maybe to see if i can do that again i don't know give me just the heads up anyway because like if you would like to see more about certain things that i'm sharing with you or you feel comfortable for me to share them don't be afraid to just you know message me on sv answers all privately if you need to you know or private message me somehow on the youtube channel of mine you know, it's much appreciated that I'm getting the support that I'm getting as well as the encouragement and all these words from people that, you know, are telling me to keep pushing forward, Karen, you're doing well in this. We appreciate your words and everything. Some of them are saying that it's an alignment to them, that it's an encouragement of some sort, you know, be it whatever it may be sort of thing, which I'm thankful for. So, and all for the do before I jabber on too much and run out of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you all soon. Peace out. <laughs>